let's see if we can write 1.501 as a percentage. Now we really just want to write this quantity as something over 100. So what we can do is we can say that this is the same thing as 1.501 over 1. We haven't changed its value. And let's multiply it times 100 over 100. When we do this product, and I haven't changed the value, this is just multiplying something times 1. But when we do it, we're going to change the way that we're representing it. The denominator now is going to be 1 times 100. So that's pretty straightforward. That's just going to be 100. And then the numerator, we're going to want to multiply 1.501 times 100. And so this is going, if we multiply this times 10, we would move the decimal 1 over. But we want to multiply it by 100. So we want to multiply by 10 again. So we're going to move the decimal over to the right twice. We're multiplying it by 10 twice, or you're multiplying it by 100. This is multiplying by 10. This is multiplying by 100. So this is where the decimal is going to sit now. So we're going to get 150.1. And so we've rewritten 1.501 as 150.1 over 100, or 150.1 per 100. Let me write that, 150.1 per per. 100, which is the same thing as 150.1 per cent, which is the same thing as 150.1 per cent. And we're done. And essentially all you're doing, if you really want to simplify the process, we're multiplying this by 100 to get 150.1. And then we're saying that is the percentage. So you want to make sure that you write the percent there or the percent symbol.